These are my three keywords that I'm going to focus on. But this has over 58,000 results. How am I going to stand out and sell my t-shirts? Shut up and sit down. As usual, this video is divided to several sections, and you can of course go to any section you want from here. In this video we are going to see how you can pick a niche among all red bubble niches, and I will teach you how to sell t-shirts in big niches using good keywords. In addition of learning how to use tags and how to design good t-shirts, I will show you my ultimate strategy that helps you make sales on Redbubble. How to find niches with a lot of demand. First of all, I am going to start today, which is October 11th. So on Google let's just search for American Holidays Calendar for 2021. Click on the first link in Google search. Here we have all the holidays and observances in United States, so now, we know any holidays date, and we can schedule our designs as well. Starting from January 1st, you can scroll down all the way to this date of October. So usually, when I look for designs, holidays, or ideas, I like to give myself time to work on it and make several designs before that day, so let's go a month ahead and look for a good opportunity. Looks like November is full with opportunities, here you have Barack Obama, Veterans Day, and Thanksgiving, of course. But what is the best opportunity here, and how can we find out? With a small research, of course, let's see what's the most popular holidays in the States. Here we have some good ones, but we are looking for November's holidays. So this is what we are looking for. You can see here that Veterans Day is a very interesting commercial opportunity. And it's on the November 11th, that's in one month, this give us plenty of time to get prepared. Let's talk a little bit about today's sponsor. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no one is sponsoring my videos. I'm dedicating a lot of effort and time to make you videos on my own, but if you want to help, you can just leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That would be really great. Thank you. Now, I'm going to show you how to search for strong keywords, so pay attention to this. When you type your main niche, which is Veterans Day, it's usually crowded and super competitive, but you always have those sub-niches that are trending. That's what you need to find in order for your designs to stand out. They need to be less than 200 results, so you can get a chance to attract some traffic to your shop. Now, let's find some best selling to target. Best selling are usually simple designs with a small text, no more than three or four words. Redbubble gives you some suggestion of keywords that are trending in the moment, so let's see what we got here.
So basically, what we are doing here is going down on sub niches to find that design which is trending and not having a lot of competition. That's called a best sellings material, and that's what we are going to target. And to do that, we need to find the strongest keywords that Redbubble suggests us in this bar right here. For this niche, these are the strongest keywords I found, the first is, lest we forget. Although, it has over 2000 results, it's ranked pretty high among best selling, so we are definitely going to use this one. Veteran's Daughter is a typical keyword, it has 167 results, it's a winner. So, if we can get to make great designs in these sub-niches and stand out, people who will like our designs will go directly into our shop, and there, we are gonna upload more designs of the main niche. And that's how you get sales. Proud Veteran is the third keyword we are going to target in the main niche. So in the main niche, which is Veterans Day. These are my three keywords that I'm going to focus on. But this has over 58,000 results. How am I going to stand out and sell my t-shirts? Let's find out how we can compete in this big niche. That's all what you are here for, right? So basically, all we need to do is find some quotes that are available on this red bubble niche. These are the best sub niches we can stand out with, and that's how we can bring traffic to our shop, so we can sell our main designs. This is our list of sub-niches that we need to make designs about. We are going to choose 10 sub-niches and make at least 5 designs of each sub-niche.
Now let's see how to create good t-shirts designs. We are simply going to need this website, called Freepik, to get some inspiration, and some assets as well. Here, you will find anything you need, from designs to simple vectors to help you make great designs for your t-shirts. And after downloading everything we need, we are just going to open Adobe Illustrator and start to make our designs. How to choose the right tags to target maximum of customers. Remember the keywords that Redbubble suggest us? Well we are going to need those in order to target maximum niches, so we start by the main niche name, then the strongest keywords from this bar here. And finally we use our sub niches name or quote that we are using in our design. These are the designs I made for this niche, and I'm still making more designs, so all I'm going to do this month until November 11th is making Veterans Day designs, you have to be consistent.
Every time you upload new designs, Redbubble's algorithm will notice you, and it will suggest you to visitors. This here is my shop, notice that I have featured this Veterans Day collection, in the top of the shop, so everyone who saw one of my designs and he clicked on my shop he will find everything else about Veterans Day here. That was all for today. All you need to do now, is start working and make designs, but for that, you will need a strategy, so make sure to watch this ultimate guide here. This is the strategy that I have been following to make money on Redbubble. See you in the next video.